ESCOM has started offering voluntary severance packages to its staff. The ailing state-owned power utility is broke and currently unable to maintain a stable power supply. Its new CEO, Andre Duraita, is trying to nurse the power utility back to financial health, but ESCOM is sitting with a massive debt burden and serious maintenance backlogs. Here's Sumitra Naidu with the details. ESCOM is South Africa's biggest liability now. This is just some of the traffic chaos that ensues when there's load shedding. There's also a direct impact on a business. But ESCOM is also a critically important asset for stability and growth. It's going to take time to fix the aiding utility. Letting go of some staff is a first step. The process is to offer voluntary separa separation packages to managerial employees, anyone and everyone who is at a level where they are a manager, non-bargaining employees can apply to leave the company. Uh, of course, management will have the discretion to accept or decline an application. And, and uh, th th that's what the process is. Totally voluntary, no forced job losses will occur. $28 million has been set aside for the separation packages. Those employees that agreed to take the package will leave by April this year. ESCOM will recoup the 400 million rands that it has put to this process within a year of the, of the process closing. And the intention really is to, is to make the company better, uh, more efficient, uh, lean structures, also looking at the best interest of the company going into the future. So management will uh, look at all the applicants critically and decide whether their skills are critical or not to the operation and whether the, the, uh, the, the, the operation can afford to lose such people. ESCOM has a bloated workforce of over 46,000 employees. Many believe this move was long overdue. It's a, a pinch in one financial year of 400 million rand that if done well and they're able to uh, pay out these severance packages, they were able to, to have a relief of a over 50% bloated wage bill um, in their income statement going forward. So it would reduce uh, their costs in that respect and it would help stabilize their financials post this, uh, uh, this period. So there are those considerations and there are those possible scenarios that can be at play. While the process is completely voluntary, senior employees over 60 have been urged to consider the package. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.